Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today I'm going to tell you about 13 things that I don't actually like about small electric unicycles. So let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. So I'm going to list those things in no particular order. If uh, something is of bigger importance to you, then you can decide by yourself. And if you're interested about the things that I like about small electric unicycles or wheels, then feel free to check out my video linked here. I know something about those ducks walking on ice is just really funny to me. Is it a duck way? So the first thing that I don't particularly like about those smaller wheels are the foot plates and the side pad situation. So of course we don't have anything resembling a power pad on those, but mm, I, I get that. But those side pads are usually not squishy enough, not thick enough. And here there is also a plastic edge that is not particularly comfortable for my shin. The foot plates are too small, I mean for my foot anyways, which is size 45 and uh, the sandpaper is of pretty low quality. And that is also why I've installed those uh, spiked grip pads or grip pads by EUC Clubhouse with uh, 3D printed studs and inserts. So now I am not afraid of falling off when I hit a bigger bump or if my shoe sole has some sand on it, some dirt, uh, then I still have grip. Another thing that I don't particularly like about smaller wheels, and the 14D in particular, is that the trolley handle is also lower. So for me, I am 180 centimeters tall. It's a bit on the low side. I prefer my Sherman trolley handle or the 18 Kingsong 18XL trolley handle. It's still doable, especially for people that are a bit uh, less tall than myself. But for me, it's a bit of a small inconvenience. Another thing that uh, bugs me about those smaller wheels in particular is that they have just a little bit less tech than their newer counterparts. So for example here we don't have a smart BMS, we don't have a motor temperature sensor, if less sensors in general. So while on a Xiaomi scooter or on a 9bot scooter we do have pretty much all of the safety tech we need and all of the info we want to have like a smart BMS. On the smaller wheels we, we just don't and just their newer bigger counterparts have those features. I wish that those smaller wheels will get updated with tech as well. We oh no, let's drink it. We oh, and for heavier riders and performance riders in general, it's easier to blow a fuse on those small wheels, particularly in smaller in motion wheels. The fifth thing that I don't like is that much about those smaller wheels is that usually their headlights and taillights are just a bit weak. I mean, they're sort of good enough for what they do in the city, but again, those electric scooter counterparts just have better quality, just a bit of a better beam and visibility in general. However, this taillight is pretty good in the 14D. So yeah, I hope that the front lights get improved on those smaller EUCs. The sixth thing that I don't like so much about, or that much about smaller EUCs is that they have just so much less torque than their bigger, bigger counterparts. And you know, it's not the problem that they just like accelerate slow or you have, you know, just less acceleration, less top speed than uh, their bigger counterparts. No, the problem is that sometimes if you're just riding, you know, 15, 20 kilometers an hour, you hit a bump, it overpowers. And that is not an ice feeling. And this applies particularly to heavier riders. So if you are over 70, 80 kilograms heavy, you have to ride a lot more careful on those smaller wheels than lighter riders. And this applies to braking too. It's so much easier to overpower such a small wheel when braking than a big one. The next thing that I don't like about those smaller UCs that much is that they have less range. Now, this is something inherent to smaller wheels. And by smaller wheels, I mean wheels below 15 kilograms. So maybe there will be in the future a way to have more range on a very light device. But for now, 
We don't. So with this one, I have a comfortable range, I would say of 20 kilometers or 15 kilometers. Yeah, this means that I need to go somewhere and back and particularly going back part or having another errand to run while you're out on a ride is something that just uh, is a bit more frustrating with a smaller wheel. So I'd say that a comfortable range in the city starts at around 1000 watt hours. This has 420 and you're always comfortable with 3000 plus like the veteran Sherman or veteran Sherman Max. And tied to that is also the problem with the low battery behavior. So when the battery is full or like down to maybe 50 or 60%, you have still plenty of performance on a small EUC like that. But once you reach like 30 or 20%, you will hear, please decelerate, overpower warning all the time. Now this could be mitigated with a high discharge pack, but then again, you would have less range or you would have more batteries and then it'll be heavier. So there isn't really any easy workaround for this, but I'm just letting you know that once you hit like 15 kilometers of range on those things, or sometimes even maybe 10, you'll have a lot less performance on a small EUC like that. Another thing that I don't like that much about those smaller EUCs is that the tire is very narrow. And this is actually a very easy fix. Manufacturers could just change the tire, maybe adjust the shell a little, and then we could fit a 14 by two and a half inch tire instead of the stock 14 by two and one eighth. Now there are some manufacturers that have a wider tire, MCM5 V2, but then again, Bigode is something that I don't recommend getting. In any case, this narrow tire is actually good for train tracking. So if there's any unevenness on the road, it will not follow those paths that much. But on the other hand, it's a bit more difficult to learn uh, on a narrower tire and it is far less agile. And it's easier also to scratch the foot plates because you need to lean more to achieve the same turning radius as with leaning less on a wider tire. So yeah, I'm probably gonna change this one for a wider one, but I can't find it for now. I wish it co would come stock on this EUC. The next thing that is pretty much parred and um, there is no other way around it of those smaller, lighter electric wheels is that the ride is just bumpier. Wow, very crowded here. Uh, so because you have a smaller wheel here, you will feel more bumps. Now the lightness does help with um, just having less unsprung weight while the UC is bouncing. But if you want more comfort and a smoother ride, you will need to get a bigger electric unicycle. Another reason why a small EUC might be not for you is that the axle is actually a lot weaker than on particularly the newest EUCs available out there. So there are no small EUCs like 14 inches or 16 inches without suspension that have a hollow bore motor. Now a hollow bore motor and its four big screws are a lot more robust for doing some jumps, for heavier riders, etc, etc. And here, if you're a heavier rider, it's easier to break the axle even when dropping down a curb because the axles here are made of cast iron. So if you're a heavier rider, again, over 80 kilograms, something like that, or you want to do some more tricks, you want to do stairs, you want to do jumps down curbs, then a small EUC for now, because there are no small EUCs with a hollow bore motor or a more solid axle is just not something for you. Sad times. Another thing that is slightly annoying about those smaller EUCs is that they're still a bit more expensive than getting a electric scooter with a similar range or just a good analog bicycle like particularly for the use case like below 20 30 kilometers in a city now i will not make a comparison like what is better what has better features etc etc uh, this is a topic for another video but i just want to compare the clean price to performance ratio and with this costing around 900 euros for the range that it has a nine bot max g30 will have the same range for less so maybe with a more bare bones version, like without speakers, without side lights, or a bigger economy of scale, it would be possible to make those wheels cheaper. But as it is for now, without a smart BMS, this is still more expensive than a electric scooter with a similar range, which bugs me out a little. <laughs> and to sum it up, 
The 13th reason, which makes me not like those smaller wheels that much, is that they're outdated. Like all of the resource and R&D seems to go to the bigger wheels available on the market, like the Kingstong S22, the Inmotion V13, Sherman S, etc., etc. While those smaller wheels, which are still a very valid choice in the city, and that's also why I got one, even though it's like was initially made, I think, in 2018 or something like that. Yeah, those wheels just don't get the same treatment as their bigger counterparts do. So I'd really love to see a revamped version of those wheels with newer design, better internals, maybe cheaper, maybe some of the suggestions that you guys have for making those wheels better, because those are still a very valid choice for traveling around the city. So. If you like this video, please leave a like on it and comment what you think about smaller wheels. Do you like them? Do you not like them? And if you're still here, leave a like on the video. Well, I said that already. Subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.